Hey, what is up ladies and gentlemen, I'm back with another awesome Transformers review and today we're taking a look at another Transformers Earthrise War for Cybertron Trilogy figure and today we're taking a look at Trailbreaker and uh, yes, he's actually called Trailbreaker and uh, they uh, got his name back finally, I know right? <laughs> but there is Trailbreaker in all of his glory. We got Trail Cutter. I mean, Trail Breaker. Just use the same Trail Cutter, right? Uh, trail Breaker in his robot mode straight out of the packaging. And yes, he is a cool figure. Um, when I get to uh, when I get to do an articulation with him, I will show you there's a little bit of mishaps on going on with the articulation of uh, the mushroom peg. One of, the, one of them, at least. Um, anyway. There he is in all of his glory. Take a quick look at the packaging here. You got Trailbreaker like ah, running towards the run, running towards something. Don't know what. Uh, his name's Trailbreaker, and his name is Trailbreaker, not Trail Cutter. Finally, and uh, he is a deluxe class. Transformers War for Cybertron trilogy, and Galvatron still floating in space. Ah, poor Galvatron. Uh, Inside, you got your still your same Transformers Earthrise packaging as well here. On the back, you got your obligatory product shots. Trailbreaker transforms in 18 steps. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. And uh, he's basically the, the Toyota that he uh, he's supposed to be. But anyway. <laughs> anyway, here is Trailbreaker. And, yes, he is Trailbreaker. And, uh, yeah, I think Combiner Wars, they called him Trail Cutter, I think. I may be wrong. Um, but very, very cool figure. Uh, we all knew this this was going to happen when we got Hoist. Um, it, it, it was a no-brainer. Because Hoist and Trailbreaker are the same mold. Uh, just a, with, with a little bit of, uh, tweaks in between. A little bit of different molding. But, uh, anyway, straight out of the packaging, he's a pretty cool figure. Um... Very, very neat. It's like a, uh, he's not black, black. He's like a blackish, brownish, matte uh, looking. Um, right here, you can see the black right here. But it's like, you can see it's like almost like a hint of brown in him. Um, not sure what the kind of plastic they were using for that. <laughs> but, uh, oh, and all of this trail breaker came out nice. And, uh, yeah, you can see, uh, the panels in the back. I kind of wish they actually would have been able to, uh, fold these panels up completely. Because this, uh, this does this get in the way of the articulation. But, I you know what they were trying to do. They are trying to give us the nice G1 accurate figure that everyone's been wanting. So, eh, kudos to that, right? So, yeah. Alright, get in there on that noggin. There's Trailbreaker's noggin. Yeah. And uh, there they are using translucent plastic once again on some stuff. Um, this whole section here is all translucent plastic, so that's why it's painted a little bit more of a different color. Because you can tell that the colors right here don't really match up, especially with the uh, Trailbreaker's head. So, yeah. So, very nice head sculpt. Very nice. Wiggle waggly. Very nice head sculpt going on there. And then you got his guns back here. You can swivel them back. Just in the back. And then you can put it down in. Bring his back like so if you want. It's up to you. It's uh, for storage. And uh, you can tell he's missing a piece. Yes, he comes with a, his, uh, his uh, camper top. His truck cap on the back. Um, this actually does peg in. You can see right here. And you see that little little T bit right there. This actually sandwiches on top of it, and uh, there's a little peg hole right here for the handle. And you just sandwich that together. Move that back just a little bit. Come on, there we go. Sandwich that together, and uh, that's his backpack. Now you can transform him back. Yeah, with with this backpack on, it's on a hinge where that 
peg is, it's actually on a hinge, which is pretty cool. So you can actually bring all of his equipment out, accessories out, and then fold it back up. Which I really like at 100%. Very nice. Kind of wish uh, Hoist's kind of did that, but Hoist was a to tow truck, so. You, like a utility tow truck, so. So, yeah. So, yeah. Very cool. So. Articulation. His, uh, like I said, uh, for his articulation, uh, is the same as uh, Hoist's. Uh, whenever I rotate this around, it re got really hard to a point. And whenever, uh, whenever, oh, it's not going to do it now. Because I actually shaved it down. There's mushroom peg inside here. Let me pull it off and show you. The mushroom peg inside here had a piece right there. It's like I sanded it down as much as I can. I don't know if you can see that. I sanded that down as enough because every time when you run to rotate it, it'll pop off. So, so it's it's not doing it now. So, I, that's all right. Um, so yeah. So it's like I said, that articulation is the same as hoist. Um, size comparison wise, you know, I did a Transformers Ghostbusters custom hoist there. So, I might as well bring him in here, show him some love. I'm try to straighten him up, straighten his legs up. And here he is. There we go. And I plan on doing a Ghostbusters custom of this mold of Trailbreaker. He's going to stay, he's going to stay in his black, but I'm going to give him Ghostbuster decals and probably do a whole bunch of radar dishes and stuff since he has a truck cap. Uh, just a different idea going on but uh see how they look together and uh yeah i do not have hoist transformed i actually had him in his vehicle mode so unfortunately i am transforming him now off camera like an idiot but hey again what could you do guys what could you do But yeah, like I said, the the hoist mode and trailbreaker mode, I can see them redoing and making another character in the near future of it. I'm not sure who, but I can see them redoing doing uh, another character with this mode because this mode is fun to mess with. I actually love this mode a lot. So anyway, here is hoist. I can actually. There we go. The original hoist, not my Ghostbuster custom. <laughs> there we go. Oh yeah, very cool. And then if you have the Combiner Wars, Trail Breaker, Trail Cutter, they have his blaster on his other hand. I can't remember which blast, uh, which which side his hand has the blaster. But uh, there's the Combiner Wars one with a heavy, uh, lots of paint that I did a while back. Come on, stand up, Trail Breaker. Here we go. So yeah. All right, other size comparison. Here's side swipe. Go bring in smoke screen. There we go. Just feels like yesterday I just got smooth screen. <laughs> and now we're getting now, now I got the wave three. Here's an alley con. And if I can grab Optimus Prime without knocking off stuff off my shelf. And here is Optimus Prime. I say that goes good for scale. Definitely. Very cool. So yeah, very cool. And uh yeah, down to transformation for this guy. He's the same just like uh same transformation as Hoist. Um get a look at his gun here. Very nice. It's basically just like Hoist's gun, 
but uh, it's not rounded off, and it's a different piece. It's actually a completely different piece, but it's like it pegs in just like hoist gun, hoist's gun, just peg it in into the hand, and push it all the way down through, so you can't see the see his hand. It would have been nice if you can actually unpeg, or like cut half of this off, so you don't see the peg there. So, hmm, input, I don't know. If you're watching this, seems interesting, right? <laughs> so go ahead and pull that off. Uh, you can grab the camper part here, and then just rotate all these gun sections back. And then close that up. Bring the camper top back. Flip Trailbreaker's head in. And you can tell why I was talking about how the panels are different colors. It's actually, it kind of gives you that, that specky look. I'm not sure what the heck they were thinking on that. I'll pull that forward. There we go. Transform them. And uh, my opinion, Trailbreaker here has a much more better transformation than Hoist did. Because everything tabs together a lot better. in, bring that in, bring that in, yeah, your arms in, bring them up, go tab in, there we go, now clean up the back end, which is pretty cool and simple, basically you're going to, you have these two tabs right here and here, and you get the same tabs like what you get on hoist. But you want to make sure you tab this stuff in here. Then pull this over at the same time. Instead of this gets pegged in to the hole here, you actually give us a slot. Bring the camper top in. There we go. Hold on. Tab in. There we go. That side's tabbed in. It's a little fidgety, but it's possible to get it all tabbed in. Not sure why this side's not tabbing in right. <laughs> Come on. Careful top just came loose. We'll just take it off for right now. Well, that was my whole problem, the camper top. <laughs> there we go. There he is. I'm going to put the camper top back on. And then give him his weapon up on top. Yay, he's in his vehicle mode. <laughs> so yeah, very cool. Very cool, it says four-wheel drive right there, which is awesome. And there we go in the back. I was like, this is a nicer, cleaner transformation than what Hoist had. And you can tell the difference in the panels off my camera here of uh, the clear plastic. Um, my thing is, what, why didn't they use black plastic for this? But they painted this black. It's like a more of a brownish black off camera. Without, without, without shining on camera, you won't recognize the difference much. But you really do. It's just wow. 
And uh, one thing that does irritate me, just like does input does, uh, is I wish they would actually paint the silver on that on that tab right there for the wheels. <laughs> Um, but you do have the tail lights painted up in the back, which is cool. Very neat. The head headlights. Nice silver in the front. All about logo. So yeah, very cool. So yeah, size comparison. Go ahead and bring them in with a Dotson. There we go. There we go. Let's see how he looks. With that, and while I transform hoist off camera, might make it a little bit better to stop in this just uh. I'm not sure here, but yeah. So yeah, very cool. Uh, like I said, the uh, hoist looks really good with a uh, trail breaker. So there's like a trail breaker counterpart in vehicle mode. And here we go. I actually leave the, the vent thing out on him in his vehicle mode. Uh, the the scoop piece. So so which is pretty cool. You can actually tell this is actually a complete different molded piece back here. Uh, he has the porch right here on the side, but if you take this off, take his camper piece off, you don't see that molding like this right there. And it's a thinner piece. You can't just swap them out unless you just uh, pull this whole section off from these tabs here and just swap them around. So it's up to you guys in customization. So, so yeah, very cool. So yeah, there is Trailbreaker and Hoist finally reunited. Together at last, finally, right? And uh, he has a little bit of a, like a different, like a rustic look on him. And then you get the nice, sleek, flat black looking on the Trailbreaker. And like I said, they're right here on this. There's like, uh, you can't really see in a different uh, distance a Trailbreaker with his black matte brownish paint job. And then whenever you get close, it's just, look at that. <laughs> um... I'm really hoping Toy Hacks gives us a nice sticker sheet to do this whole top section of the vehicle mode whenever they do. Um, I'm actually hoping they do that. Um, do the whole thing. Do, give us nice little windows in here. Um, give us a window for in here. Um, it's just an idea. Um, hopefully they keep these logos, of course. But, but give us that nice black finish that we need instead of the... <laughs> so, so anyway, with another other uh, Earth Rise. Just speaking of toy hacks, there's a, here's the toy hacks wheel jack I did. Very nice. So yeah, transform him back into his robot mode. Very cool. Just go ahead and take everything off.
yeah, like I was saying, that was like a very cool figure, highly recommended. Uh, like I said, the color thing just ma uh, just messes with your eyes, but all in all, this figure is amazing. Definitely pick him up if you can, ladies and gentlemen. So yeah, so there is my review on the new Transformers Earthrise Deluxe Trailbreaker, finally. We got Trailbreaker, ladies and gentlemen. So yeah, very cool figure. Highly recommended. We can get his head to move. So, very cool indeed. So, very cool. And uh, definitely go and pick yourself up one if you guys are interested, definitely. So, like I said, I got mine from my good buddy Greg Monroe on Facebook. Definitely check his link down in the description down below as well. Um, definitely don't, don't forget to check that out. So, yeah. So, there is my, my review on the new Transformers Earthrise War for Cybertron Trilogy Deluxe Class Trailbreaker. Very cool. Highly recommended. Definitely, uh, definitely an awesome figure to get. And, uh. So can't wait till uh, Transformers Kingdom gives us some awesome other characters that we actually been waiting for for a while. So, yeah, very cool. Enough. To, so next time, ladies and gentlemen, I'm your host Trans Aaron 38. Don't forget to rate and subscribe, comment on any videos I do. Keep a lookout for any new videos headed your way, and definitely don't forget to check me out on Instagram. I'll have pictures of uh, these figures and uh, all kinds of other different stuff, and uh, you never know what this guy's gonna have on Instagram. So. So yeah, definitely follow me on Instagram. I'll follow you back. All that good stuff. So until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I'm your host, Trans Aaron 38 talking again. Don't forget to check everybody's links out as well down in the description down below as my good buddy Greg Monroe. Tell him Trans Aaron 38 sent you or AA Ron. He'll know who it is. So until next time, I'm your host, Trans Aaron 38 reviewing the new Transformers Earthrise War for Cybertron Trilogy Deluxe Trailbreaker. So until next time, see you guys on the next one and uh stay safe out there and uh again what could you do guys what could you do